Welcome to Happy Clubhouse with a tutorial on how to apply foil stickers. Now, foil stickers have a bit of a stigma for being for beginners, and some modelers even make fun of people who use foil stickers. But the truth of it is, everyone enjoys different things out of a model kit, and your enjoyment shouldn't be measured by how extreme the type of work you must put in. When you get a bit more curious beyond foil stickers, there's always going to be time to try other things beyond it. But anyway, let's first look at the tools we're going to need if we're going to apply foil stickers nicely. First is the sheet of stickers for your kit, of course, and for this tutorial, we're going to be using the STX standard new Gundam, which has a lot of stickers, and most modern kits won't nearly have as many. Next, you're going to need a tool with a narrow tip, like this mechanical pencil here. The one I like to use has a steel tip that's machined from the same piece of metal as the cone tip, and this design keeps the steel tip from wobbling around, which is very handy for our needs here. But if you don't have a mechanical pencil that's suitable, you can always just use a toothpick, or in my case here, a bamboo skewer. They have an advantage of being easily available, and the tip may look sharp, but it's actually quite round at the very top, which is good. Next, you're going to want a cotton swab. The one I have here has one side that's a little bit more narrow, but that's not essential. It's better if you have ones that are of a higher quality, so that the cotton tips are woven together more tightly. Next, you want a pair of tweezers. They don't have to be expensive ones. Lastly, you're going to want a crafting knife, and this is kind of optional. For the knife, it's really important to have a sharp blade. My blade here has gone through a few kits, and you can see it's quite a bit worn down, so in its place, I put in a fresh blade so we can get the cleanest cuts. Once you've gotten all your tools ready, we can begin. The simplest of stickers are plain flat stickers, like the one for the head camera here. Before getting too excited and putting it right on, it's worthwhile to check out the spot that it's going to go on. Here, we can see that the bottom edge is going to be quite hidden away by the V-fin in the front, so aligning to this edge isn't quite as important, so let's align the sticker to the top. Picking up the sticker with the tweezers, we want to fit it as close as we can to the edge that we want. Then, we'll take our toothpick and adjust it and fit it in place in more detail. Now, don't go rubbing down the sticker with the toothpick, because foil stickers will get impressed and they get scraped if you use a hard and pointy tool like this. Instead, we'll take the cotton swab and press the sticker down. For an inset sticker like this one, you're going to want to use a cotton swab instead of your finger, because the finger is not going to fit very well into the tight space. And there we go, a nicely applied head camera. But what if you place a sticker down and realize there's a mistake? Like the back camera here that's clearly not aligned right. Rather than clawing at it with your fingernails and damaging the sticker, let's take a crafting knife and gently slide it between the sticker and the part. Make sure you're wedging it in rather than cutting, or else the knife might split the paper of the sticker or cut the plastic. Once it's wedged in, we'll use the knife to lift up a bit of the sticker so that we can use the tweezers to lift the sticker back off. A pulled off sticker is inevitably going to be a little bit roughed up, but from a distance, it won't really be too noticeable. Next, let's look at the eyes. The face of a Gundam kit is the soul, and that's not an exaggeration. It's our natural instinct to study faces and understand someone, so the eye stickers play an important role. Many modern kits have the eyes molded as a raised detail, and that poses a bit of a problem because we can never really align it perfectly on top of a sticker. Bandai stickers are cut very accurately, but still, the edges will never be perfectly centered, so we won't know if the eyes are exactly in the right spot with the sticker. So, my advice is to brush the cotton swab across gently, and don't force the sticker over the raised edges. You can see here that my sticker here fits the eye area overall, but the eye camera underneath actually is not aligned well at all, so it's better just leave it as is. Or, you can take it one step further and bring in the crafting knife. We're going to use it to trim off the black edges and leave only the green eye. And it's really best not to try and keep the black parts because the green eye will be that much more cleanly cut this way. My sticker here was put back onto the sheet so it slides around a little bit, but for you, if you haven't lifted off the sticker yet, it's going to stay in place much much better. So here's the finished eye sticker that can be easily aligned onto the eye. But wait, what about the black parts? For this, you're going to need a bit of black paint. Here I'm using a Gundam marker, but any other brand of similar paint markers will do. You don't have to be too neat with the edges, but it's best not to cover the whole eye because the stickers are going to stick much better on the plastic than on paint. 
So when the paint is dry, we can finally place the eye stickers down into their final home and rub them down with our cotton swab. And you can see here, the end result is clean and pretty good looking. And trimming isn't just for the eyes. Many other stickers like the Amro emblem here have white parts that are actually supposed to be empty spaces. So we can do the same for these sort of stickers. Here I first cut out the inner triangle freehand. My cuts certainly weren't perfect when doing it through the camera, so probably you're going to do a better job than me. With a sharp blade, you can press down on a straight line like this and get a clean cut. And that's one reason we want our blades to be very sharp. So now the emblem looks much better on the shoulders of the new Gundam. Now let's move up in difficulty a little bit with wraparound stickers, like the one for the black crest on a V-fin. We don't have a nice edge to align them to because the shape isn't always exact. So you want to try your best to place it down on the surface on the middle somewhere, like this one here, and test a little bit to see if it fits well. This may take a few tries, so you're going to have to hunker down and be patient. Once you're happy with the alignment, you can take the toothpick and make a nice crease on each edge with the side of the tip. Resist the urge to press down on the sticker with your finger until the edges are creased. Use the cotton swab to press the sticker down for a nice uniform fit, and then flatten any sharp edges with tweezers like here or with the toothpick. One last step on the crest here is the indented detail on the top, which needs a toothpick. The paper of the sticker gives us just enough flexibility that we can recreate the sharp edges quite well. Now don't go crazy and rake at it or else the printing on the top of the sticker is going to come off. And lastly for this tutorial, we're going to have a look at more complex wraparound stickers like the middle of the fin funnels here. It requires mostly the same approach as before, but the awkward turns and the tight corners mean that we're going to need to use the toothpick much more here to crease the edges and even press down some of the stickers with the side of the tip. Sometimes the molded details like the middle of the squares here are quite deep and the stickers just can't stretch that much, so it's wiser to just leave the stickers flat. Nonetheless, the stickers have added a lot of details and colors to the fin funnels, and now the fin funnels look much more complete than before. So here's the new Gundam before and after stickers, and like I said at the start, don't worry about the people who put down stickers. We all want different things from Gundam models, and as you can see here, stickers do indeed add a lot to our kits, and maybe that's exactly enough that'll make the process fun for you, and enjoying the experience is really important. I hope you've picked up a few useful pointers here and will be able to enjoy your next model kit that much more. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to come hang out with us on social media with updates for upcoming videos, or hang out here a little while longer with one of these other videos, like the full review of the SDX standard new Gundam. But before you go, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to be notified of new videos from Hobby Clubhouse, and I'll see you next time.